one of the emerging techniques which came out of people studying protein biochemistry was the use of mass spectrometry as an imaging tool. So we have really stood on the shoulders of these people who have been developing lots of tools to do this to apply them to look at the lipids which are present in tissues in, with a particular emphasis on looking at those lipids which contain arachidonic acid. The, since we engaged uh, in looking at um, tissues by mass spectrometry or imaging mass spectrometry, uh, we have discovered many new things which have certainly um, been of interest to us when we see rather bizarre images of the distribution of lipids at a 50 micron lateral re resolution of tissues that have, uh, at least for us, uh, raised a number of questions which then involve the further investigation of what the origin of these lipids are, how, why they're distributed the way they are, and why they observe, uh, they observe a certain tissue localization. So in this process of really getting into it through arachidonic acid, we sort of have now uh, greatly expanded our interest in using imaging mass spectrometry to look at a wide variety of lipids. So you might ask, why would we look at lipids and not at proteins? Well, of course, I'm a lipid biochemist, and so that's my major interest. But I would certainly point out that the, the majority of molecules which are present within cells and therefore within tissues are these lipid molecules, not proteins. And so we get very strong signals for these lipids, and, and, a, and most lipids do give um, ions, either positive or negative ions, uh, for us to investigate a whole series of phospholipids or sphingolipids um, and, or even fatty acids for that matter if you want to look at those. Now it's not a panacea technique, there are certainly lots of problems. We don't have as much sensitivity we'd like to have. But the nice thing is, is I think that the instrument companies are beginning to see that many people are interested in this type of technology and are developing better and better tools including increased sensitivity, increased lateral resolution of the imaging process, and these all will, will work to the benefit of uh, virtually anybody who wants to try these imaging techniques. I might add that we don't change our machines, we are using the commercially available machines the way they are, um, and it, they produce very remarkable images which have certainly caught our attention and I think the attention of other people as well. So my name is Robert Murphy. I am a professor of pharmacology at the University of Colorado, Denver, uh, which is in Aurora, Colorado.